What's up YouTube? Have you ever wondered about the Brush Studio inside of Affinity Designer on iPad? Well, that is what we're here to talk about today. So we're going one by one through each of the studios in Fane Designer and today is the Brush Studio. So if you want to check out the previous videos, go ahead and check out the playlist on Fane Designer. We also talk about every tool that is in Fane Designer on the iPad as well. So we've already done the studios for color and for stroke. And now we're going to go ahead and talk about the Brush Studio. The studios are found along the right hand side of the screen and the brush studio is actually the third one down and it looks like a brush so that makes a lot of sense doesn't it. This studio is actually fairly straightforward. When you look at it you can see that its name is at the top and then you have a menu and a push pin like most studios. And then the bulk of the studio is taken up with sample brushes. So you can pick from any of these to draw with them. There is a trick to know about the brush studio though and that is that it reacts to the persona that you're in. So right now we are in the designer persona up in the top left. If we switch to the pixel persona, that will actually change the brushes that we have. And this is because when you're in the pixel persona, you're using raster brushes. And when you're over in the designer persona, which is probably where most people spend most of their time in designer, you're actually using vector brushes. So if you draw with a vector brush, you're going to make a vector line. So you'll have points that you can edit along it. Whereas if you draw with a raster brush, you'll actually be laying down pixels that will be determined at the time that you draw them. And this is a really powerful thing in Fane Designer because it has access to so many different ways of creating. And that's one of the great things about it. But let's go ahead and let's just take a look at this. So when we're in the designer persona, really the only tool that we're going to use to draw with a brush is the vector brush tool. So that's about halfway down in the toolbar. So I'm going to switch to that. When we pick a brush, we can then draw with that brush. And you can see that it kind of adjusts because it's a vector brush as we draw. If we want to change brushes, there's a category header at the top of the brushes studio. So just click on that. Right now it says acrylics, but we can click on that and we can see different categories. So you can see we have quite a few categories right off the bat here in Affinity Designer. And these are all for vector brushes. So if I switch to oils, I can then choose an oil brush. And just the same I can draw. Now the other thing to know in the vector persona is that you can apply brush strokes to anything that is a vector stroke. So say I take my pencil tool and I draw a new stroke. You can see that doesn't look like much, but I can actually apply any brush to that. Let's go ahead and let's choose something from dry media and let's just choose a pastel. You can see that takes on a completely different look, but it's still a vector stroke. Similarly, if I use any shape tool, grab my rectangle tool here, drag that out. I can come over to the brush studio and I can apply a brush to that. So let's choose a chalk brush and then it just applies that to the brush studio. And as we discussed last time when we were talking about the stroke studio, you can actually adjust the parameters of that stroke here. So things are a little different over on the pixel side. If we go to the pixel persona, we have several different tools along the left hand side. Now, if I hold down the question mark, you can actually see what those are. And there are three of them that are going to use the brushes from the brush panel, the paintbrush tool, the eraser brush tool, and the smudge brush tool. So those are all going to use the brushes. Then let's go ahead and open up our brush panel. And you can see we have a lot of the same categories, some that are different. We'll just choose a watercolor here. And then when we start painting, it's going to tell us that the assistants added a new raster layer because we need a raster layer for this. And you can see that when you draw with these brushes, they don't adjust like the vector brush does, right? It does exactly what you draw it to because it is just laying down the pixels. And so you have those different tools. So just to show you, if I grab the eraser brush tool, say I want to erase with the texture, I can come here and I can grab my texture brushes. And then I can erase with that texture. So the eraser uses it, the smudge uses it, and the paintbrush uses it. And that's basically what you have there. And then in both the designer persona and the pixel persona, you have this menu. Because you can, of course, add new brushes. And that's one of the things people really love about working with brushes is they can get so many different looks. So you can buy lots of different brushes online. And this menu is where you could come in to add those in. So you have import brushes. You can also export brushes if you want to share the brushes that you make. You can make new brushes from a bunch of different presets here so you can see there's new intensity brush, new round brush, new square brush, new image brush, new brush from selection. We're not going to go into making brushes because that is a whole big category unto itself and there are many videos on how to make brushes and it's not an area that I am particularly skilled in so I don't think this is a great video for us to go into that 
But just to show you how you would also edit an existing brush, you can just take a brush, hold down on it, and then you'll get the edit option. Once you click edit, you'll be taken into the brush editing mode. Here you can edit all of the different aspects of the brush. So you can make new brushes or you can edit existing brushes if you're going for a particular look. And if you buy a brush online, you can go ahead and add that in here. There are both vector brushes and pixel brushes. Just make sure you know what you're getting. And that is really it for the brushes studio. So there isn't a ton to go into here. Most of the detail is handled in the actual editing or the creation of brushes. Now remember, I have lots of courses teaching you how to use affinity programs and other iPad apps. Those are linked in the description of this video. Make sure that you subscribe for more content like this and follow me on Instagram for weekly design lessons. We'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.